Hold on, let's cut that. What's good, YouTube? It's Teflon Poppy, aka the Ghost with the Most. And today, I got to install a cold case radiator, aluminum radiator, my scat pack because unfortunately, this one broke. And this is actually the second one that I put in. I'm not sure if it's like the winter time causing it the heat or whatever, but I'm tired of these junky radiators and we're gonna put an all aluminum one in. So, got my cousin here, help me out. All right, so we got the radiator in and we had a few issues because you know aftermarket parts and everything doesn't line up so the two top bolts on the trans cooler didn't line up at all we got the two bottom ones in and then this screw looks really weird because why is it hanging out on the side like that i don't know if you guys can see that so hopefully when we put some cooling in everything works and also once you drop the fan and the slots that it's supposed to go in the bolts right here don't line up like this, so we're gonna have to do some ghetto shit and put some zip ties on this joint. All right, so we got it in, and it runs fine. It's a little bit of cooling on the floor because I spilled some, but there's no leaks. Uh, the only thing is, you see, I had to ghetto rig the fan to the trans cooler so it wouldn't rock. Other than these two holes not lining up, I mean... Alright, so now I got the whole radiator in and I just drove it just to test drive it. Um, it was a little pain in the butt to get in because it's a piece, plastic piece that goes right under the bumper and it was real hard to get in with the, the new radiator in there because of the size. So I think my bumper's on a little crooked, but I can't really tell unless you know, I point it out. And also the check engine light is on. I'm not really sure why, but I think because it's a hose, the hose that connects to the radiator has a uh, spring in it. I think that has to do with the uh, the um, thermostat, but it doesn't necessarily fit directly into the radiator. And I'm thinking that's why it's on, but it works. And I'll give you guys, well, I test drove it and it works. So if you like these videos, check engine light actually went off. I don't really know what was causing it to go off, but it went off the same day. I think maybe the radiator just had to get adjusted to the car or something, but it went off by itself. So that's a good thing and it's, it works. I drove it to work and it didn't overheat, but uh, I'm gonna pop the hood and show you guys what I was talking about, how everything don't fit correctly. that goes under the bumper wouldn't fit, so I had to zip tie that on. Uh, this is just for now, because this balance is out too, so. She, yeah, it works, she runs, and she's not leaving, so. That's a good thing, but everything did not fit as expected, so. It doesn't necessarily run any cooler or anything, but not that I've noticed. But it works. <laughs> That's all I care about. I just don't want it to break again. Please like, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and that's it for today.